Well, hello, Grace Babel Church. I hope you're doing well. Just a couple tips on entering and exiting a campus. Again, these are these are things that I know Scott and Chris have mentioned, but I also want to just take a few moments to kind of illustrate them a little bit better. The reason is because we really need to hold certain traffic patterns so people can get in and out of the worship center or the fellowship hall or the courtyard in as quick as a manner as possible so we can also do some resetting and some cleaning and disinfecting in between the services. One of the things we want to encourage you first is to fellowship. We do not want to prevent you from fellowshipping with one another. Church is important. Fellowship is important. So I want to encourage that. But I also want you to be mindful that in many of these areas need to be sanitized or reset so we would encourage you as you are fellowshipping after or before service that you're mindful of that and especially if it's after service that maybe you make your way outdoors so that we can go ahead and get certain areas taken care of if you're in the courtyard maybe you make your way out towards the parking lot areas so that we can go ahead and reset the courtyard and make sure everything is done correctly The courtyard is probably the easiest way to enter into the campus because it is what we are most familiar with. You can park in either the small lot or the big lot and make your way to the courtyard through the front gates. Once you're there, you can find a seat. Again, you don't have to wear a mask if you're in the courtyard. However, if you do need to use the restroom, first, you want to make sure that you have a mask. Second, you cannot enter in through the main entrance of the building. Rather, ladies, if you want to use the restroom, you'll need to enter in by the door next to the nursery. Gentlemen, you can go ahead and enter into the church building through the door that is closest to the fellowship hall and make your way to the restroom. Once service is over, go ahead and exit the same way you came in through the front gates of the courtyard, either to the smaller lot or to the big lot. Secondly, let's go ahead and talk about fellowship hall. Now, Fellowship Hall is a little different, although it's still pretty familiar. You're, you're going to want to park in the big parking lot, make your way down the side of the church into the front gate to the courtyard. But instead of going to the courtyard, you just want to go on through the Fellowship Hall entrance, find a seat, and the worship service will begin shortly. Now, once service is over, do not enter into the hallway through the side door from the Fellowship Hall. Instead, exit the same way that you came in. If you need to use the restroom, go ahead and exit that side door and you can head either to the men's restroom or cross over the main worship center narthex into the ladies' restroom. Now finally, let's talk about the worship center. Now this is the one that is the most different for almost all of us. What you'll wanna do is you wanna park in the big parking lot and make your way to the church building. Once you get to the children's playground, You'll want to hang a right. There'll be signs there pointing you in the right direction. And you can enter in either to the closest fire escape exit or go around the back of the building and enter into the furthest fire escape exit. Now, once you're in the building, you want to make sure that you find a row that does not have a red X. We're holding on to those rows with the red X for another service. Once worship service is over, you do not want to head out the way that we normally do. That would be through the back doors of the worship center. Instead, you want to enter and exit through those fire escape doors on either side of the platform. Again, if you need to use the restroom, please feel free to go ahead and use those back doors. However, there really should be no congregating in the narthex or in the hallways. There's really no reason for you to be there, and we want to keep those areas open for traffic. Family, thanks for watching. I know these patterns are different than what we're used to, but I'd encourage you to go ahead and follow them so that we all can get on and off campus in a quick and safe manner. I hope I'll see you on Sunday. May the Lord bless you and keep you. See you soon.